in a footnote towards the end of your book, you contrast the way that North Sea oil revenues were treated by the Norwegian government by setting up an oil fund and by the UK government. Now, as you probably know, the Scottish government here, the, the SNP government, would very much like to get its hands on the oil revenues, but argues that um, there should be an oil fund, that it should be trans treated largely, if not entirely, as investment rather than just put into current spending. You would think that that's basically a good idea, wouldn't you? Oh, you're absolutely right. I mean, one way of thinking about it is that oil is an asset below the ground. And what you do is you take that asset below the ground and you spend it. You're poor. It's like spending any other asset. You're living off your wealth, and if you live off your wealth, it's not sustainable. So what you're, the way you ought to think about it is portfolio management. You're taking wealth below the ground, moving it to as wealth above the ground, because it's a more flexible form of wealth. This is a good time to move that wealth from below the ground to above the ground. You can get higher returns by investments in a whole variety of areas. So they're absolutely right. And what to me is so uh, upsetting, so striking, uh, be even more striking or upsetting if I were a, a citizen of, of the UK, is that in a sense you squandered that wealth. You took all that North Sea oil, and you did very well for that period because you were living off your wealth. And you mistook the success of the Thatcher era as a success based on good economic policy when it was really a success based on living off of your wealth and leaving future generations impoverished. So even though the oil is declining, the oil production is declining, you, you, your advice would be better late than never do it now. Exactly. In fact, all the more imperative that you do it now uh, because you should now realize the mistake of the past. You don't have that asset and you have to make up for lost time.